Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. I am doing this live because technically it's Wednesday morning around 3. Oh no, it's actually 3 a.m. here in the central part of the country. Uh, I, uh, so much happened yesterday. So I, I, my yesterday has not ended for me. So technically <laughs> this is Tuesday's live uh, video with the topic being, you gotta lose weight in order to attend the carnival in Rio de Janeiro. And I really wanna take on this topic today because this is an absolute 1000% myth, okay? If you feel most comfortable, uh, you know, losing, uh, you know, a few pounds or several pounds, I certainly understand that. You know, every man, every woman has a certain ideal weight or a certain weight in which you are comfortable uh, in, in being, you know. But I have to be honest and say, um, you know, that all depends on you and your level of comfort. Like if you are overweight or plus size and you want to go to Rio de Janeiro and enjoy the carnival celebration just like everybody else, you can have a wonderful time and have a, a an, an amazing experience just as you are. Uh, however you are, however you're most comfortable, you are welcome to the carnival. There are people of all shapes and sizes uh, from all different backgrounds. So I think it's always so interesting when I speak, especially to women, um, because I talked to a sister over the phone who was inquiring and looking to come, but she says, oh, I need to lose some weight. And I'm like, well, would you say you needed to lose weight to go to Chicago? Or would you say you needed to lose weight to go to, um, you know, Atlanta or whatever? If that's how you really feel, then okay, I, I totally get it. But at the same time, like this is about leaning into who you are and who, how you are. Um, that's the one thing I love about Brazil and Brazilian culture is they're really a group of people who really meet you where you are and are very, very accepting of you as the person that you are in your physical body. Okay. Um, they understand that people come in all shapes and sizes as we do too. Um, but I have seen sisters get embraced of all sizes in Brazil, as have the brothers, you know, they're just Brazilians are just wonderful people who uh, just culturally embrace uh, everyone. And the thing that I have to say uh, happened to me one of the the times that I was in Brazil is I was, you know, I love to people watch, I think a lot of Americans, we tend to like to people watch, especially when we're in a different country. And one thing I noticed in Brazil, and I talked to one of our, uh, one of our partners there about it is I noticed in Brazil, there are all these men and women, uh, who are of different body shapes. I saw one guy, um, who had a nice body and he was with a very plus size woman. And then I saw like another guy who was kind of like really cut and very physically, you know, appealing. And he was also with a, a healthier Brazilian woman. Like you would not, if you, if they were here in America, you would probably most likely never put them together because physically they are in two different body types and one is deemed attractive here in American culture and the other is not appreciated in American culture. And so I, I say that to say, when we talk about beauty and beauty standards and what's uh, deemed acceptable and, and, and who you're more likely to see a person with, just know that when you travel the world and you cross cultures, what may be appealing in one culture may not be appealing in the next. And what may be kind of frowned upon in one culture may be celebrated in the next. And so I asked uh, one of our uh, partners there, I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm noticing, uh, I'm seeing some plus size women with some really physically fit men. Is that like um, a thing here? Like what, what's going on? And 
um, she said, you know, people don't care. Like they just go with whoever it is that they like. And I love that attitude. I love that kind of energy. And so I say that to say, for some reason, people think about Brazil, Brazil's carnival. And I know it has everything to do with what you see on television, the beautiful Brazilian bodies in the carnival parade. And you somehow think that you're going to be out of place if you are a few extra pounds overweight or if you know you need to lose weight and you want to put on like you know a a nice sexy swimsuit or bikini your body is embraced there I always tell people just to lean into who you are appreciate the body that you have if you're physically able to make it to Rio de Janeiro to enjoy the carnival celebration Be thankful for that. There are so many people who cannot physically achieve coming from one country to the next and being able to have an experience. So if you are healthier than what you like or if you, you know, know you need to lose some weight, do not let that be something that keeps you from joining us in Rio de Janeiro during the carnival season. I promise you there are all body types that are celebrated that you will see. Obviously the media promotes one particular body type, but even when you see a lot of the the carnival queens, um, some of them, you know, when you look at them in the parade, some of them are, 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 they got some, some meat on them. Like there are some thicker, thicker women out there and, uh, there are some thicker women. There are some older women out there. It's just a come one, come all kind of vibe and energy when it comes to carnival and Rio de Janeiro. And so I wanted to immediately bust up that myth because I, I get that quite often when people I'll call and inquire about the trip uh, to Rio. I'll, I'll hear women, mostly women say, oh, I need to lose some weight or, oh, I need to get in shape before I go. No, you don't. You just need to decide that this is a place you want to be and put forth one step and then another step to make it happen. And usually it's just, you got to register. Once you register, you know you're going. And so with that being said, um, registration is open. Uh, All of you are welcome, plus size and smaller size and everybody in between, you're all welcome. You will see all types, all body types represented in Brazil during the Rio Carnival uh, celebration. And so I just wanted to come on and, and, and share that with you and invite all of you, uh, to, to join us in Rio de Janeiro for the carnival in February. So, uh, I am signing off. It's three Oh eight. So I got this done in eight minutes and until next time, I'm going to try to do another video, uh, you know, later on, hopefully I can get it done earlier. We'll take on another myth again. Uh, email us at blacktravelersnetwork at gmail.com if you'd like registration information and details on how you can be a part of our next trip to Rio de Janeiro uh, for the carnival experience. All right, ladies and gentlemen, until next time.